A very good morning to all the dignitaries, guests and delegates. With great joy and immense exultation, I feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to Reverend Sister Rosaline B.S., the Superior General of the Bethany Congregation and the President of this event. Reverend Father Paul Melvin de Souza, OFM Capuchin, the Chief Guest. Reverend Father Vincent Monteiro, the Parish Priest of St. Sebastian Church, Bendo, other dignitaries and all present here for the release of the Bethany Centenary Document Film on Wings of Love, based on the life and mission of Servant of God, Raymond Francis Camellius Mascarenus. Once again, a genial welcome to the gathering. Let's put our hands together. Now, let us raise our hearts to God in heaven, along with our students of St. Teresa School as the leaders into prayer. Just let us hold. Let us all sit in a prayerful posture. Yes, we once again welcome Reverend Sister Rosalind B.S., the Superior General of the Bethany Congregation and the President of this event. <laughs> Reverend Father Paul Melvin de Souza, OFM Capuchin, as our Chief Guest, and Reverend Father Vincent Montero, the Parish Priest of St. Sebastian Church, Bendo. We welcome you. Yes, over to Theresians. Thank you, Theresians, for lifting up our hearts to God. I now request Sister Lillis, Assistant Superior General and the Convener of the Centenary Organizing Committee to escort the guests to the days.
let's put our hands together generous way of kindness to the guest of our home comes by hospitality i'm delighted to call sister lillis assistant superior general and the convener of the centenary organizing committee to accord a warm welcome to the gathering lives lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time h w longfellow of course these lines are true in the lives of great women too Good morning to all of you. Have a nice time. Dear Sister Rosaline, Superior General of Bethany Congregation and President of this program, Reverend Father Paul Melvin, Episcopal Vicar for Religious, Chief Guest, Reverend Father Vincent Mondero, Parish Priest of St. Sebastian's Church, Bendur, all the dignitaries on the stage, general councillors procurator general provincial superior of mangalore province reverend fathers sisters of bethany and other co congregation well wishers parishioners relatives of monsignor raymond mascarenas staff and students and the actors of this documentary film march 4 2021 marks the 121st ordination anniversary of the great personality servant of god raymond fc mascarenas a son of the diocese of mangalore on this solemn occasion i feel it my great privilege to welcome you all to release of the document documentary on wings of love on behalf of bethany family The documentary film spotlights the footprints this holy priest and great religious women have left on the sands of time. At the outset, I extend a warm welcome to the president of this function, Reverend Sister Rosaline, the Superior General and the president of Bethany Education Society. Sister is also the president of the Conference of Religious Women of India. In spite of her multifarious responsibilities, she has been inspiring Bethany Centenary Media Committee to accomplish this noble task of producing this film. Dear Sister Rosaline, a gracious welcome to you, filled with appreciation for your person and what you do sister philamin saldana the principal of saint teresa school bendur greets you with a sapling a symbol of welcome we are delighted to offer the most hospitable welcome to reverend father paul melvin ofm capuchin 
Apart from being the Episcopal Vicar for Religious, Father Melvin is the Vicar Provincial of the Karnataka Province and is the Superior of St. Fra Anne's Friary, Mangalore. He is the President of Kongani Nadak Sabha. Dear Father Melvin, it's a glad welcome we bring to you this morning, appreciating you for your great concern for the religious. Sister Shantipriya, the General Counselor, offers you a symbol of welcome. A hearty welcome to you. Reverend Father Vincent Mondero, the parish priest of St. Sebastian's Church, Bendu, as well as the Dean of Episcopal City, Varado, Mangalore, has been enormously cooperative in this project along with the community of fathers and also many of the parishioners. Bendur Parish is the scene of numerous important events of this documentary film. Dear Father Vincent, a gracious welcome to you. Here is Mrs. Jasmine with a sapling to say a hearty welcome to you. A hearty welcome to you. Sister Jyoti, the former Superior General of Bethany Congregation, who is a great visionary, is the coordinator of the production of this film. She believes in the key role media plays in the transformation of the society. As we welcome her, we also accord her sincere felicitation for the commendable work done along with the Band of Media Committee. A warm welcome and congratulation to you, dear Sister Jyoti. Sister Mariette, the General Counselor, offers you a planlet, a sign of welcome. <laughs> Reverend Father Edwin Vass from Ishwani Kendra, Pune, who is the director of this film, was unable to be present here on this occasion. However, I believe that he is viewing this program. Dear Father Edwin, welcome to you and congratulations for your laudable service. Let us put our hands together. <laughs> Ms. Cleta Fernandez Prabhu, the retired chief engineer of MESCOM, Mangalore, is the grandniece of the servant of God, Monsignor Raymond Mascarenas, and she reminds us of the great role the family has played in the life of the servant of God. She represents all the family members present and absent. An affectionate welcome to you, dear Miss Clita. Sister Lilita, the general counselor, brings to you a symbol of welcome, a hearty welcome to you. Mr. Richard Alvarez, Mrs. Mavis Rodriguez, the Secretary of Bentur Parish Council, is an outstanding entrepreneur and coffee planter. It is her privilege today to share her impressions on the documentary. Dear Mrs. Mavis, a hospitable welcome to you. Here is Sister Lutz, the Vice Principal of St. Teresa School, to welcome you with a planlet. A joyous welcome to you. Mr. Richard Alvarez, a teacher under Bethany Educational Society for more than 34 years, is a person who has captured the ideals of Monsignor Raymond Mascarenas. He will be sharing his impressions on the documentary. A hearty welcome to you, dear Mr. Richard, as Master Sonal, the head boy of St. Teresa's, says it with a sapling.
a cordial welcome to our former vicar general father dennis morris prabhu Father Melvin is here. Alvarez is the place where our founder was educated, high school education from Milagres, uh, representation from Milagres, Rosario Cathedral. They have yet to, they are yet to come, I believe. And all these fathers, I really accord a very warm welcome to you, especially the fathers coming from different institutions. Jepo Seminary, Rosario Cathedral, Milagres, Bendur Parish, and Alocious College, wherein various scenes of the documentary were captured. A very sincere welcome, as we say thank you also to you for collaborating with us. A round of applause to you. And to all the fathers here, different from different congregation and those who are all connected with us and with the Monsignor Mascarenas, again we put our hands together saying a very hearty welcome to you. And to our, all our religious sisters from different congregations, starting from our neighbors, uh, Apostolic Carmel sisters, and all the sisters of various congregations who are present over here, we are very appreciative of your presence. Thank you very much. A hearty welcome. A cordial welcome to Divine Word TV, photographer, and all the media personnel. Once again, a joyous welcome. A joyous welcome to one and all, and a special welcome to all sisters, Bethany sisters, other sisters, general councillors, procurator general, provincial superior of Mangalore province, parishioners, Bethany lay associates, actors from different institutions, relatives of the servant of God. Uh, once again, a joyous welcome to one and all. Wish you many blessings of the ordination anniversary of the servant of God, Raymond F.C. Mascarenas. May his blessing be on all of us. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you, dear Sister Lillis. Sister Lillis is known for her exemplary service in carrying forward the mission of our father founder. Here is Ms. Avnika to accord a warm welcome to Sister Lillis with a sapling. Let's all put our hands together. Thank you, Avnika. Joyous events are celebrated with best wishes and blessings. We now await words of blessings from Father Vincent Montero, the parish priest of St. Sebastian Church, Bendo. Over to you, Father. Very Reverend Sister Rose Selin, President of the program and the Superior General of the Congregation, all the dignitaries on the dais and all my dear friends. Prayerful wishes or prayers from Father Vincent, they said. Yes, it's a great work of filming a history which is not very easy. Because you reconstruct the whole thing, try to make it audiovisual, yes, at the same time, the whole story bring, come alive. And this great work is done with a purpose. And the purpose is not just to look back into the history and to enjoy it or see how the culture was there at that time. But this is to bring to memory all the values and all those biblical teachings to which Monsignor Raymond Camillus Mascarenas stood for. That's why as it is being released today, let this be a historical event also to look back into the history 
for all the good that was started that time and the growth of it till today. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that He may bless this whole adventure or the efforts so that it's not to see just like that but bring its values to the present generation and to the congregation as an inspiration to go ahead and to continue what Monsignor Mascarenas had started in a very small scale. Let us pray that the purpose for which it is, it is done may be blessed and achieve this purpose to the full. Heavenly Father may bless all the efforts and as well as all those who are able to understand this uh, work about the documentary of Monsieur Servant of God Monsieur Mascarenas as well as the journey of Bethany congregation so far. We may be an inspiration to the future ones and for the congregation. Let the efforts be blessed and uh, let it achieve its purpose. Thank you. Thank you, dear Father Vincent, for your gracious words of blessings. We request Sister Jyoti, the coordinator of, for the documentary production and the convener of the media committee, to speak a few words. Pope Francis says, Today, the modern media is an essential part of life for young people. And in this pandemic era, Pope Francis invites us to dream together. Dear dignitaries on and off days, sisters, brothers and children, a very good morning to all of you. Come, let us dream together for a new church, a new India, a new world and new society. How do we do that? Of course, one of the pathways is media. Yes, once upon a time, there was a dreamer. Blessed are the merciful, they shall obtain mercy. Matthew 5, 7 became the launching pad for the servant of God Raymond on March 4th, 1900, 121 years ago. The documentary film on Wings of Love is a humble tribute from his children to this mystic prophet and visionary priest who dedicated his 60 years of priesthood to realize the dream of Jesus for the kingdom of God. To live his dream, the servant of God took the road less traveled by, described by, by the poet Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all difference. True. Road less traveled by the servant of God has made a great difference in the church and society. We are the living testimony. Known as the apostle of print media, he translated the Bible in vernacular for the use of the common people. He engaged the famous artist to teach immortal gospel stories through beautiful paintings which adorn the walls of the Bethany Mother House Chapel. He knew the value of media and used it extensively to get connected with the people. Friends, walking in the footsteps of the founder, the Beth founder of the congregation and of the Bethany Educational Society, a number of art forms were used to educate the children, youth, and the public. Buona Jyoti 
a dance drama on the life of Jesus, staged by our staff and students for 23 times in different parts of Karnataka, later produced as a movie, and Kalpavalli, a telefilm on the life of the servant of God, Raymond, again by our staff and students, are found in the YouTube and speak for themselves. There was Sarvodaya for Interreligious Harmony, Makkala Manikya, Deepanjali, Sanithya, and many other books and series offered for value education. Subodhini, Bethany Media Center, today a memory, was set up to be a resource center to instill spiritual and moral values in the children and youth. On this beautiful occasion, I express my gratitude to Sister Rosaline, the Superior General, who with the council members, Sister Lilis, the Assistant General, Sister Shantipriya, Sister Mariette, Sister Lilita, and the Procurator General, Sister Kristin, encouraged, supported, and financed the project. I salute you for opening the doors of Bethany to the people of all the continents, cultures, races, and languages through the lens of media. Thank you very much for your trust in us, the media committee members. The documentary film on Wings of Love is possible because of the personal love and admiration of the director of the documentary for the servant of God. Willingly and patiently, Father Edwin Vas SVD, Ishwani Kendra Pune, labored over two years with a number of constraints, including the lockdown. He traveled through the length and breadth of the country except Northeast to make this happen. Considering the labor of over two years into a documentary of just 30 minutes, was very difficult and a painful to him and to us. God bless his generous availability and flexibility. Many persons have invested generously their time and talents to complete this project. The media committee members, with their support of their and active involvement of their coordinators, provincial and delegation superiors, and the administrator, Superiors and sisters, heads of the institution, staff members and students, parish priests and assistants and parishioners, the village people have given their best to make this event happen. We are grateful to all of them. Let me conclude with a small part of the prayer of St. Oscar Romero. We accomplish in our lifetime only a tiny fraction. We plant the seeds that one day will grow. It may be incomplete, but it is a beginning. I believe many more documentaries, better ones and the perfect ones will be on the way. We may never see the end results. We are workers, not master builders. We are prophets of a future, not our own. I pray that God who led the servant of God, Raymond, and the first four members, Mother Martha, Sister Claire, Sister Lutz, Sister Gertrude, and those who followed them and gave their life so that all may have fullness of life in the footsteps of Jesus, grant us the joy of living for God and his people in humble submission to the providence of God. Thank you and enjoy the day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sister Jyoti, for your enriching words. Your hard work and love for Father Founder is truly commendable. 
We are profusely elated to have Reverend Father Paul Melvin de Souza, OFM Capuchin, as our chief guest, who is a priest of distinct vision and an inspiration to all of us. I kindly request you, dear Father, to come forward to deliver your message. A bus crashed into the tree in Garden Halli in Hassan district. Miraculously, all the passengers were safe. Shocked and surprised, driver asked the conductor, Basali yaro punyat muru irbeko nodri. And the conductor replied, Illu Pridare Sanyasi, Billy Gadda, Billy Badde, Kayeli Japamale, Japamarta Idare, Prartane Marta Idare. Here is a holy man, a Sanyasi, having beads in his hands and praying. And that Punyatma, that Mahatma on board was none other than. Monsignor Raymond Mascarenas. <laughs> Dear Sister Reverend Rosaline, the Superior General, and all Bethany sisters, Reverend Father Vincent Montero, and all the priests who are gathered here, all religious sisters, Mrs. Mavis Rodriguez, Mr. Richard Alvarez, Mrs. Cleta Fernandez, and all the admirers, friends of Bethany sisters. We are all eagerly waiting and praying that a Konkani speaking Mangalorean soon be canonized or declared as a saint by the church. It's a question of time. A holy priest, a man of God who has inspired and still inspiring thousands of Bethany sisters who say every day in the morning, like Mother Mary, I am the handmaid of the Lord and reaching out the poor, less privileged, especially children, girls, women, empowering them through education. This year is the centenary year of the Congregation of the Sisters of the Little Flower of Bethany. It's a big milestone. The presence and fragrance of the Sisters of this Bethany is a powerful witness to proclaim that Monsignor Raymond Mascarenas had a deeper and greater love for Jesus. His zeal like that of St. Paul, his missionary spirit like that of St. Francis Xavier, and his spirituality is that of St. Teresa of Child Jesus. Monsignor Raymond personalized in his life the manifesto of Jesus himself. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to spread, to proclaim the good news. His holiness, his far-sightedness, his fatherly figure, his vision, his courage, his love for the church, his priestly ministry, his pastoral zeal, his devotion to the Blessed Sacrament, love for the Eucharist, his closeness to Mother Mary have created today thousands of Marthas and Marys in the congregation of Bethany. We are 12 siblings, we are 12 children, and all 12 children, 12, 12 children, 12 siblings have experienced special love 
of these Bethany sisters in and through their best of little ways in a remote place called Basrikitte in the Diocese of Chikmangaluru. <laughs> Monsignor Raymond has planted the Garden of Bethany and God has been causing the growth. God gives the growth to these sisters of Little Flower. And today, on behalf of Bishop of Mangalore, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, and we who are present here, wish all God's blessings on you, sisters. And we wish you all the best in your service and mission. On wings of love, a Bethany centenary special will be surely give us a vivid and true picture of Monsignor Raymond, a Punyatma, a Mahatma, and no doubt he is a Santa Purusha. I gladly consider this occasion of the 121st ordination anniversary of Monsignor Raymond a privileged moment to all of us. When the bus, when there was an accident occurred, he was praying in the bus and now he is praying from heaven a great son of the Diocese of Mangalore. Thank you. I would like to thank you, Father, for your ennobling thoughts and inspiring words. Amidst us, we have an inspiring personality a fountainhead of knowledge and experience, Sister Rosalind B.S., the Superior General of Bethany Congregation as the President of this event. It is my great pleasure to request you, dear sister, to deliver your present presidential speech. A very good morning to all of you. My dear dignitaries on the days, Father Paul Milvin, Father Vincent Montero, Sister Lillis, Sister Jyoti, Mrs. Mavis Rodriguez, Mr. Richard Alvarez, Mrs. Cletus, the dignitaries of the days, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, Bethany Lay Associates, relatives of our founder, staff, students, parents, parishioners, and well-wishers, and above all, my dear sisters. Today, on this 121st anniversary of the priestly ordination of Servant of God, RFC Mascarenas, former Vicar General of Mangalore Diocese, and founder of the Congregation of the Sisters of the Little Flower of Bethany, the Bethany Congregation is delighted to release the documentary film on Wings of Love. I take pride in the fact that this film is released with the message how a person filled with the spirit of Christ can ablaze the world. Indeed, mercy and compassion, the two sides of one virtue, love, were the hallmarks of Monsignor R.F.C. Mascarenas. As a young boy, returning from school, he overheard a lady visitor remarking to his mother, this son of yours can be an instrument of either for a great deal of good or a great deal of evil. Raymond seems to have made a firm resolution why should I be an instrument of evil? I would rather go about doing good. And he took the road less traveled by. The core of his dream was making a choice in life, which is very much Ignatian. And it is imbibed by his training in St. Aloysius School and St. Joseph's Interdiocesan Seminary. 
His ordination souvenir has a picture of breaking and giving the bread to a little boy and the printed verse, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7 He left no stone unturned to exemplify in his day-to-day -day life the mercy of God. He was a person who strove to bring fullness of life for all, especially to the poor and the marginalized, and in a special manner to the women and children. Bethany congregation of ordinary women, of course, with four teachers, Mother Martha, Sister Claire, Sister Lourdes, and Sister Gertrude, that he envisioned as the apostolic arm of the church, underscores his love for the mother church. He did not start it as his pet project, but seeing the need and the relevance of the time, especially education and faith formation in the villages and remote areas, he plunged into the unknown. Following his charism, Bethany today is happily bearing witness to consecrated life and rendering service for 100 years in nine countries of three continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe, in 188 communities, as far as Vatican, at a stone throw from Pope Francis's residence, out in Sahara Desert in Africa, Pithuragad in the mid-ranges of Himalayas, and Kanyakumari on the shore of Triveni Sangam. When we exalt the personality of Monsignor Raymond, the daring pioneers and their followers, I acknowledge the great contribution of the Diocese of Mangalore, its churches and institutions that shaped his spirituality and personality. The devout family of Monsignor has played a great role in his life. I am grateful to God for raising this compassionate pastor from the soil of Karnataka, especially from the Diocese of Mangalore. Let Bethany grow, let Bethany flower, and let Bethany bear fruit was one of the deepest desires of RFC Muscarinus expressed on 30th anniversary of Bethany's foundation from where we have derived our centenary motto. It was a call to grow in number and merit. The documentary film Wings of Love is a testimony for Bethany's birth and its growth. I'm indebted to you, dear Sister Jyoti, on behalf of my Council and Procurator General, the Convener of Media Committee, for being who, who organized all the actors and coordinated the film and sought collaboration of persons from different spheres of life. Although you do not wish to be honored, I have the pleasure to say we hold you in high esteem for your tireless service in bringing this project to a successful completion with a round of applause. <laughs> My sincere thanks to Father Edwin Vas SVD from Ishwani Kendra Pune for his direction, who, as Sister Jyoti mentioned, traveled the length and breadth of the country with the film in mind and camera in hand. We miss his presence on account of his another commitment. I have communicated my sentiments of gratitude to him last evening and he was happy about it. A round of applause to him also. I'm grateful to all the priests and religious, the institution heads, staff and students, Bethany Lay Associates, parishioners and our well-wishers over here for collaborating with us, for shooting various scenes, for playing certain roles, and above all your encouragement in this project. And I'm glad 
that some of the actors are here in the audience. I appreciate the presence of honored guests and others, all of you present over here and those viewing from far. Yes, you are far, but certainly near and dear to us. I am also grateful to Sister Lillis, the convener of the Centennial Organizing Committee, and uh, the Sister Marriott, the, then the principal, is the staff and students for the day's program. This movie is an outcome of the contribution of many of you. A million thanks to you. And my dear friends, on the tomb of our founder in Monsignor Raymond Memorial, the words that are inscribed hold good for all times. He lit the lamp, we keep the fire burning. Yes, the fire that still kindles in the heart of Bethany impels us to carry forward the light that he has lit. We are invited to contemplate and share the compassion of God everywhere to everyone. Let it come true more and more during this centenary and beyond. Please join us, dear friends, in our prayer through the intercession of our Blessed Mother and Saint Therese of Lisieux, whom we lovingly call as Little Flower, that the founder may be raised to the honors of the altar. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you, dear Sister Rosalyn, for your profound words of wisdom, gratefulness and appreciation that sprung from your heart. I now call upon Sister Cecilia Mendoza, the Provincial Superior of Manglo Province, to express your words of gratitude. Honorable guests on the days and of the days, on this auspicious day, the long-awaited dream of having a documentary film is realized by the wise planning of our Superior General along with her council. We owe our gratitude to God who journeyed with Bethany for 100 years. We are grateful to you, dear Sister Rosaline, our Superior General, for gracing the occasion by presiding with the program and for the meaningful presidential address. A note of gratitude to you, dear Father Melvin de Sosa, the Episcopal Vicar for Religious for you will be releasing the documentary film. The documentary film was coordinated by Sister Jyoti, the convener of Centenary Media Committee, along with the committee members. We offer our thanks to you for your meticulous plan and execution. Special thanks to Sister Lellis, the convener of the Centenary Organizing Committee for planning the day's program. We are indebted to you, Father Vincent Monteiro, the parish priest of St. Sebastian Church, for your prayers, collaboration, and support extended to us. We thank Mrs. Mavis Rodriguez and Mr. Richard Alvarez for being with us and they will be sharing their impression. We are grateful to you. Our thanks to you, Ms. Clita Fernandez Prabhu, for your gracious presence and all the relatives of Father Founder. Thank you. The entire Bethany will ever remain grateful to Father Edwin Vaz SVD for his 
careful direction coupled with dedication in producing the documentary film Bethany acknowledges his untiring labor of love our thanks are due to all the actors present here and also those who are absent priest parishioners teachers and the students of various institutions our gratitude to the priest of Bendo Milagres Rosario Cathedral and St. Joseph's Seminary. Special thanks to all the priests present here, the religious, relatives of our founder and all the well-wishers and friends. Thanks to you. I thank all the general counselors, procurator general, delegation superiors, all the provincials and sisters who provided all that was needed for shooting this documentary film. I raise my voice in gratitude to the correspondent, principal, vice principal, the staff and students and parents of St. Teresa's School for their cooperation in staging today's program. I also thank Ms. Vina Lestrado for computing the program and all those who assisted in various ways. Thank you. Our sincere thanks to the photographer, media, and Divine Word TV for capturing the glimpses of the day. Dear friends, I thank each and every one of you present here and also those who watch this program. Uh, we are grateful to you. Let Bethany grow, flower and bear fruit in plenty. Thanks to one and all. Thank you, Sister Cecilia Mendoza, for your words of gratitude. We have amidst us Father Rosario, representing the Bishop House. So, Father, a gracious welcome and a heart full of gratitude for your presence here. We accord a welcome and a round of applause to you, Father. Well, now arrives the auspicious moment for the release of the documentary film on wings of love that depicts the life of luminary priest from our own vicinity servant of god raymond francis camellius mascarenus i now invite the chief guest reverend father paul melvin de souza to release the documentary film accompanied by reverend sister rosalyn and other dignitaries Diocese of Mangalore on the Francis Camillus Mascarenas. As a young priest, he worked as an assistant at Milagres Mangalore and at Mount Rosary at Kalyanpur. 
In 1903, Father Raymond was appointed the parish priest of Udhyavar. Here, he was affectionately called a good shepherd by the people of Udhyavar for his pastoral zeal and for taking care of the people personally, risking his own life during the epidemic of cholera. Souza for releasing this documentary film. I request all the dignitaries to occupy your respective places among the audience as we watch this film. With this, the process for the canonization of Raymond Francis Camillus Mascarenas was set in motion. I now order that the packages containing the archetype are closed, sealed and kept in a safe place of the archives of the diocesan inquiry. Raymond Francis Camillus Mascarenas was born on the 23rd of January 1875 in a small town of Shimoga in Karnataka, India. He was the seventh among the 13 children of Lazarus Mascarenas and Joanna Castellino. His father was employed in the district commissioner's office at Shimoga while his mother took care of the children. He was baptized on the 27th of January 1875 and was named Raymond Camillus in Sacred Heart Church, Shimoga. Raymond's innate potentialities blossomed in a happy, disciplined and devout family atmosphere. Lazarus, after his retirement from government service in Shimoga, shifted to Mangalore with his family and settled at Kankanadi. Raymond received his first communion in Milagres Church in 1885. He had his early education in Milagres Church School and later he was admitted to St. Aloysius High School and completed his matriculation with a first class. The fathers of the Society of Jesus whom he held in great respect and honor had a great influence on his life and choices. A world full of opportunities was opened to Raymond after his brilliant success in matriculation. However, against the many attractions of the world, he listened to the gentle whisper of the Lord, calling him to be a priest of God, to bring good news to the poor. At the age of 16, on the 23rd of February 1891, he joined the St. Joseph's Apostolic Seminary, Mangalore. In the seminary, he had a worry that he could not sing. So, he prayed and made a vow to St. Francis Xavier that if he gets the gift of singing, he would add Francis to his name. And he received the gift. He was ordained a priest at the age of 25 for the Diocese of Mangalore on the 4th of March 1900. On 
this occasion, as a gratitude to St. Francis for blessing him with the gift of singing, he added Francis to his baptismal name. Ever since, he was known as Raymond Francis Camillus Mascarenas. As a young priest, he worked as an assistant at Milagres Mangalore and at Mount Rosary at Kalyanpur. In 1903, Father Raymond was appointed the parish priest of Udyavar. Here, he was affectionately called a good shepherd by the people of Udyavar for his pastoral zeal and for taking care of the people personally, risking his own life during the epidemic of cholera. He labored selflessly in the vast and difficult terrain of Agrar Parish for four years, from 1910 to 1914. Sensitive to the hardships of his people to walk the distance to the church, he acquired land for three future missions at Siddhakatte, Nirkand, and Alipade. In 1914, at the request of the people, Right Reverend Paul Perini, S.J., the Bishop of Mangalore Diocese, appointed Father Raymond as the first parish priest of St. Sebastian Church, Bendur. While serving as a parish priest at Bendur, Father Raymond was deeply pained to see the distress of many young women who had genuine vocations to religious life but could not get entry into the then existing congregations because of the requirement of higher education and exorbitant dowry. He had observed that those religious sisters who were engaged in the educational apostolate in Mangalore were mainly caring for the needs of the upper and upper middle classes and confined to the more developed towns and cities. With this in mind, he conceived the idea of founding a congregation with the aim of making religious life possible for many local and poor girls and in doing so prepare apostles to carry the good news of Christ's kingdom to the poor and neglected through education and instruction. He placed this idea before Right Reverend Paul Perini SJ, the Bishop of Mangalore. The Bishop told him, Act if you have an inspiration to do so. Make use of the opportunities you have. Father Raymond lost no time. On the 16th of July 1921, on the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, he founded the congregation of the Sisters of the Little Flower of Bethany, commonly known as Bethany Sisters in the Diocese of Mangalore. The congregation was started with the four lady teachers, namely Flora Mathias, that is Sister Mary Claire, Marceline Menezes, that is Sister Mary Martha, Regina Gertrude Gonzalez, that is Sister Mary Gertrude, and Alice Mathias, that is Sister Mary Lourdes. They were accommodated in a newly purchased house close to the church. He named the house Bethany, desiring that the members by combining prayer and service would make their community a house that loves Jesus and is loved by Him. This new venture was a leap into the unknown, both for the founder and the founding members. Many were even very critical, saying that the congregation will die with the founder. The years spent in his priestly ministry made Father Raymond realize that education mainly for the poor was an essential part of pastoral ministry and was necessary for their all-round development. For this purpose, he started St. Sebastian School for Boys at Bendur. In view of facilitating the education of girls, Father Raymond started St. Margaret Mary School at Bendur and St. Joseph's School at Kankanadi. St. Martha's Industrial School was attached to Margaret Mary School in which needlework and tailoring were taught to non-school-going girls and women. A boarding house was added for the girls and women who were studying in different institutions. It became a cradle of vocations to Bethany. The first branch of the Bethany congregation was Lisiu Convent Puttur. By 1925, the membership of the congregation reached to seven. Out of seven, three sisters were sent to Puttur. As there was no transport mode like buses, they came in the bullock cart. They crossed the Netravat River by boat and they reached Puttur. Bethany had its second branch house opened in Balkunje in 1930. Within a decade of its existence, the membership of the congregation increased to 86 and new communities branched out in the rural areas surrounding Mangalore. The historic day for Bethany dawned on the 28th of July 1932 when Bishop Victor R. Fernandez, 
presented the decree of canonical erection to the founder and mother Martha, the superior general. On the 26th of May 1934, 54 sisters who had joined in different batches thus far made their religious profession as members of the new congregation. God's providence accompanied Father Raymond. In 1931, he received a gift of 40 acres of land given as dowry by Mr. Isidore Rego and Mrs. Anne Saldana, parents of Sister Dulcis of Bendur Parish. The sisters labored hard to turn the barren, rocky land into a lush, green garden with a variety of fruits and crops that fed the sisters during the difficult times of World War II. Subsequently, more land was added, making Rosa Mystica like a small township for the little children, young boys and girls and women to shape their futures with new life and hope. We had more than 150 children in our hostel. Some were orphaned and some had parents. A teacher training institute was started at Rosa Mystica in 1945. Rosa Mystica being a conducive place for prayer and quiet, the novitiate was transferred from Bethany Mother House to Rosa Mystica Kinney Kamla. Hundreds of novices and candidates have received their all-round formation in this place from 1952 to this day. In the third decade after the conflicting situation in some parishes, there was a virtual standstill of Bethany's growth in Mangalore Diocese. However, unseen blessings followed. God opened new doors to Bethany, making it a missionary congregation as it moved into Kerala. In 1937, it was Mepadi in Wayanad. In 1938, West Hill. In 1949, Parlikunna. And in 1953, Pariyapuram in Malapuram. Vocations to Bethany from Kerala had already started coming from 1935. Responding to the invitation of the Bishop of Pune in 1939, Bethany opened convents in Dharwad and Guled Good Mission areas then belonging to the Diocese of Pune. Subsequently, four communities were opened in Belga Mission in the Patriarchate of the Archdiocese of Goa, namely Santi Bastwad, Madan Bhavi, Nandgad and Bale Kundri. The sisters faced severe hardship and even opposition and physical assault in the early days. The sisters braved all these adversities with love and compassion, bringing in social transformation in time. These very places are throbbing with life today. By 1960, the congregation had 452 members in 34 convents. Mother Martha, Mother Petra and Mother Priscilla were the superiors general up till 1959. Right from the beginning, crosses accompanied Father Raymond's work. Those were very, very trying times for Father. There was no warning. The Second World War and its aftermath was a testing time for the young congregation. The non-earning members, the sick, the students and those under formation outnumbered the earning members. As a consequence, there were financial problems and sufficient food was not available. One occasion, one sister came, Father, one, two sisters are very bad. I must take them to Many young and promising sisters succumbed to tuberculosis and died one after the other in spite of serious efforts to save their lives. Father Raymond was heartbroken, but he said yes to God. God has his own plans for us, and Bethany has to say, Ece Ancilla Domini, behold the handmaid of the Lord. He was faced with criticisms and misunderstandings from ecclesiastical authorities 
and even from his own spiritual daughters. Then one day, as we were returning from Kankanadi school to Bethany, we saw our mother general, Mother Priscilla, sitting in front of the grotto and crying. We ran to mother and said, Mother, what happened? Why are you crying? She, she didn't answer at all. Then when we came out, we saw Sister Bertha. Then we asked her, Sister, why does mother cry? Then she said, they are going to suppress our congregation, pray for us. The public opinion on the new institute was divided, some in favor and some becoming hostile. The ill-fed, ill-clad, in ill-fated Bethany will soon be buried and it will be a part of forgotten history. In 1942, the local Jashi Permanent School building is in the building. The building is in the building. Suddenly, the building is in the building. The building is in the building. The sister Violet is in the building. The reason they built all of the school has collapsed. What will you do? He went to his room put his head in his hands and stayed there praying for an hour. Then he came to sister and said, My child, if the Lord does not want it, we do not want it either. Let us see what he wants from us. Let us offer him the collapsed building brick by brick. When the sister pointed out to him that the bills on the collapsed building were still due for payment, he said, <laughs> The raging controversies and heart-wrenching adversities could not stifle Father Raymond's zeal to spread the Word of God. At a time when the Bible was not available in Konkani, he translated and published the whole New Testament in 1952. He also translated six books of the Old Testament. Father Raymond was years ahead of his times in popularizing the use of the vernacular language in the liturgy by translating the Little Office of the Immaculate Conception, Little Office of Blessed Virgin Mary, Office of the Dead, Masses for the Dead, The Funeral Rite, A Few Minutes with Mary on Saturday and Office of the Sacred Heart. He wrote devotional hymns in Konkani and also translated a few from Latin and English to Konkani and popularized them through a Konkani hymnal, Shembor Kantigo. Father Raymond found time to devote himself to serving God's people in many capacities. On the 1st of August 1931, Bishop Victor Fernandez appointed Father Raymond as Vicar General of Mangalore Diocese. He was the President of the Catholic Association of South Canada the founding vice president of the Catholic Board of Education, the officialis of the diocese, the municipal councillor, consultant to the bishop and president of Mangalore Roman Catholic Pioneer Fund. In 1955, Father Raymond was conferred with the honors of the domestic prelate by Pope Pius XII. In 1937, Father Raymond and Bethany sisters helped in the formation of the Holy Family Sisters of Nazareth of Goa an indigenous congregation founded by Father Faustine de Souza. Father Connor was a man of faith and trust in the providence of God. He is a man of prayer. The mystery of incarnation of the word was very dear to Father Raymond's heart. On the occasion of the Silver Jubilee of the Bethany's Foundation, on the 16th of July 1946, Father Raymond solemnly consecrated the entire congregation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. He taught the sisters to invoke her as the Queen Mother of Bethany and to adopt Ece Ancilla Domini, Behold the Handmaid of the Lord of the Annunciation as their motto and ideal. He instilled in them devotion to the Holy Rosary. His personalized love for Jesus was manifested in his fervor and zeal at the Eucharistic celebration, his devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and to the Blessed Sacrament. He 
he wrote in his last will and testament on the 28th of March 1942, Have always before you the desire to have perpetual adoration in Bethany during night and day. On the 16th of July 1996, during the Platinum Jubilee year of the Institute, round-the-clock adoration by the participation of every community of the congregation was introduced. On the 16th of July 2018, 24 hours adoration at Bethany Mother House was initiated. Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, whose intercession Father Raymond had powerfully experienced from the very start of the founding of the new institute, was constituted as the second patroness. He was impressed greatly by the simplicity of her spirituality and her great missionary zeal. Saint Joseph, on whose feast day the first property was acquired on the 19th of March 1921, is invoked by the sisters as father and protector of Bethany. The 29th of February 1960, the day of the anticipated Diamond Jubilee celebration of Father Raymond's ordination. And that day during Mass he was so joyful and so happy during sermon he got a stroke. He was so sick he couldn't continue the Mass. Then he was taken by the doctors to his cottage and father lived there for nearly 10 to 11 months. His suffering was intense, yet he bore it all with great hope and courage. In profound faith he accepted the chalice of salvation and ceaselessly called upon the name of the Lord with his most cherished prayers. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Father Raymond left for his eternal home peacefully on the 23rd of December 1960 and was buried before the high altar at St. Sebastian Church, Bendur, Mangalore. Just before his death, when he became seriously ill, Father Raymond was asked, Father, are you anxious of Bethany? No. I built Bethany in the heart of Mary. Roots of Bethany are deep down. Father Raymond said that he prostrated at Mother Mary's feet and prayed to Mother Mary, saying, Mother, do with me whatever you want, but do not forsake the children who come and join me. Mujer patyanaila burkyam tumka after his departure, vocations to Bethany Institute increased threefold. The congregation grew from strength to strength as it journeyed towards North India in 1961, Northeast India in 1962, Europe in 1971, Africa in 1997 and Nepal in 2018 under the leadership of Mother Makrina. Mother Gemma, Sister Sylvine, Sister Agnella, Sister Jyoti, Sister Wilberta, and Sister Rose Celine as the Superior's General. In 1971, on the occasion of its Golden Jubilee, the congregation was declared of pontifical right by a decree of praise from Propaganda Fide, Rome. Presently, there are 1,381 sisters working in nine countries of Asia. Europe and Africa. They work in 62 dioceses and 189 communities in 8 provinces and 2 delegations. In Asia, they work in India and Nepal. In Europe, the Vatican, Italy, Germany and France. In Africa, Mauritania, Senegal and Tanzania. There are 1,322 sisters working in India spread across 26 states and 49 dioceses in 169 communities. God! So good! Uh, 
Bethany Educational Society Mangalore was registered on the 4th of September 1948 by Father Raymond for the purpose of educating the less privileged sections of society, especially girl children. Mother Petra, the Superior General, was the President of the First Council of Management and the Founder was the Life Member. Bethany sisters continue this vital mission through promoting holistic growth in children. They help young minds to discover, unearth and enrich their creative potential and attain wisdom for living meaningful lives. To capture and to live the vision of the founder in today's context, Bethany Educational Society has come up with seven core values to be taught and practiced in Bethany schools. They are God Experience compassionate love for all, especially the poor and marginalized. Communion, collaboration, team spirit. Excellence in developing each one's unique potentialities to build a just and humane community. Truth, love, justice and peace. Simplicity of lifestyle and dignity of labor. Respect for life, nature, cultures, religions, and love for the nation. Father Raymond started boarding houses and orphanages to provide quality education and spiritual formation to rural and economically backward girls under the maternal care of Bethany sisters. This legacy is part and parcel of Bethany mission all over the country today. Father Raymond's great desire was to imitate Jesus who emptied himself to bring the compassionate love of God to the people. Infused with this compassionate spirit of the founder, the sisters reach out to the poor and needy in innovative and self-supporting activities. <laughs> The formation of self-help groups has made significant changes in the lives of these women. They have helped them to start income-generating projects such as opening shops, animal husbandry, craft work, running milk cooperatives, fish farming, beauty parlors, tailoring, knitting and weaving. Farmers are motivated to come together and participate in group farming. They are made aware of the available government schemes and financial support. We are promoting safe migration. Sisters work for the safe migration of vulnerable sections of the people. They network with the government and civil organizations and other religious congregations to combat the crime of human trafficking. Auto drivers have been organized to become aware of human trafficking and learn how to take appropriate action. The sisters work among the HIV infected and those affected by substance abuse has given the participants a sense of purpose and helped them to emerge from their dependencies. Sisters reach out to the women in distress through counseling and psychiatric treatment to reinforce in them their self-worth and dignity. Listening to prisoners, praying with them, imparting a sense of hope, bringing healing and inner peace are ways in which the sisters become a liberating presence to prisoners. Working among the physically and mentally disabled is a challenging task. The sisters have to shape their own behavior and attitudes to meet the special needs of the children. Sisters have set up hospitals in some small towns and dispensaries in remote villages where medical facilities are not available. Sisters are also engaged in holistic health where people are taught home remedies and nature cure. Homes for the aged have been set up to provide a secure and caring environment of love emotional support and medical assistance. The sisters offer an ear for listening and a heart for understanding and affection. 
When disaster strikes, Bethany sisters are always there to serve. Bethany's Centenary Housing Project aims at providing decent homes to the economically backward families. Pastoral work, an essential element of the founder's charism, forms an important part of the sisters' ministry. They actively participate in basic Christian communities ministering to the spiritual needs of the people. Faith building in families through family visits and prayer, teaching catechism in the parishes, counseling and guidance, and healing through prayer are some of the ways in which the life of the parish community is nurtured by the sisters. Bethany Lay Associates, Bethany Champions, and Little Way Association are helpful lay partners in sharing the vision, mission, and spirituality of the founder and Bethany. On the 16th of July 1996, on the occasion of the Platinum Jubilee of the congregation, the Founder's Cottage was set up as Father Raymond Memorial and was inaugurated and blessed by His Eminence Cardinal Simon Lourdesami. Gradually, this cottage has turned out to be a place of prayer and pilgrimage. Ever since the death of the Servant of God Raymond, the members of the congregation and the people began to experience the power of His intercession. Among them are Mrs. Benedicta Braggs, who had a miraculous cure of her leg which the doctors wanted to amputate, Sister Sushmita, who recovered from her paralysis, Sister Helima, who was healed of her severe abdominal pain, Sister Anne Maria, a cancer survivor, now joyfully spending her time in prayer ministry. <laughs> child, Father Raymond expected everything from his heavenly father. This radical trust and hope in divine providence sustained him and his infant congregation through difficult times and bore fruit in the rapid expansion of the institute and its mission. Today, through hills and valleys, slums and deep forests, cities and villages, the Bethany sisters continue to walk in the footsteps of the founder making known the love of Jesus for all, especially to the marginalized, forging a new future with new dreams for a better tomorrow.
Well, I am blessed to have witnessed this documentary film. This was not from my comparing list, but uh, it is from my heart. Because what I have felt for the founder has touched my life. And at times I was in tears to see a lot of hardships that he has gone through. It was not easy then and not easy even now. Because it's really with founder's vision, it's amazing to know how Bethany congregation has transformed from a small seed to full grown tree with its branches spread and flourished all over the world in such a short span of time. I'm sure this documentary film has made some impression in our hearts and minds, but due to lack of time, all may not be able to share it here. But of course, you can encourage others to watch and be inspired. Well, now I call upon Mrs. Mavis Rodriguez and Richard Alvarez to share the impressions of this film. So, once again, greetings from my side to everybody who is gathered here. As it was requested, for the benefit of all the people, I have been asked to speak in Kannada. So I think you will love my Kannada also as I am speaking about Monsinger, Raymond Francis, Mascarenas and also what I have seen and what I felt in my heart. Sarvarigu Namaskara. ಈ ಒಂದು ಯೋಜನೆ ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂ ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದನೇ ಇಸವೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಅನಿಸ್ತದ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಹದಿನಾರು ವರ್ಷದ ನಂತರ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಅನಿಸ್ತದ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಮಾನ್ಸಿಂಜರ್ ಮಾಸ್ಕರೇನಸ್ ಇವರು ಗುರು ದೀಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆದ ನಂತರ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಅನಿಸ್ತದ ಈ ಇಡೀ ಒಂದು ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ರ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟರಿ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅನುಭವ ಆದದ್ದು ಇದೇನು ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದನೇ ಇಸುವೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭವಾದ ವಿಷಯ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ದೇವರ ಯೋಜನೆಯಾಗಿತ್ತು ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವರ್ಗಲೋಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದು ಭೂಲೋಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದು ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ನನ್ನ ನನ್ನ ಎದುರಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ನಿಂತು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದನೇ ಇಸುವೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾನ್ಸಿಂಜ ರೇಮಂಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ಕರೇನಸ್ ಇವರನ್ನು ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ದೇವದೂತರಾಗಿ ಕಳಿಸಿದರು ಎಂಬ ಅನುಭವ ನನಗಾಯಿತು ಯಾಕಂತೇಳಿದರೆ ಅವರು ಹದಿನಾರನೇ ವರ್ಷದ ಪ್ರಾಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಮಿನರಿಗೆ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡರು ಆ ಒಂದು ಹದಿನಾರನೇ ವರ್ಷದ ಪ್ರಾಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಸೆಮಿನರಿಗೆ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡು ಆ ದೇವರ ಹತ್ರ ಇದ್ದ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇಡೀ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸುವುದಾದರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ರ ಮೂಲಕ ಇಡೀ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಇದು ಪ್ರಸಾರವಾಗುತ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡುವಾಗ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕಠಿಣವಾದ ಕಷ್ಟಕರವಾದ ಹಾಗೂ ಅಂತಹ ಕಷ್ಟವಾಗಿರುವ ಕೆಲವು ಪ್ರದೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬದುಕಲು ಅಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಗಿರುವ ಪ್ರದೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಕೆಲಸಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡುವಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಬೈಬಲ್ನ ಕೊಟೇಶನ್ ಬೈಬಲ್ನಲ್ಲಿರುವ ದೇವರ ವಾಕ್ಯ ನೆನಪಿಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತದೆ ಐಸಾಯ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಐಲ್ ಗೋ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟನ್ಸ್ ಐಲ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದ ಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರೌನ್ಸ್ ಐಲ್ ಕಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಬಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಐನ್ ಐಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ಟ್ರೆಜರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಐಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ರಿಚಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೇ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ರಾಯಲ್ ಹೂ ಸಮನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಬೈ ನೇಮ್ ಹೂ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಬೈ ನೇಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದೇವರು ರೇಮನ್ ಮಸ್ಕರೇಶ್ರವರನ್ನು ಕರೆದು ಅವರು ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕೆಂದು ಮೊದಲೇ ಸೂಚಿಸಲಾಗಿತ್ತು ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದನೇ ಇಸುವೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭವಾದದಂತೂ ಖಂಡಿತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಪಡುತ್ತೇನೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಾಗಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಲ್ಲಾಗಲಿ ಚರ್ಚ್ಗಳಾಗಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಆದರೂ ನಾವು ಯಾವುದೇ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಪಿತನ ಸುತನ ಮತ್ತು ಪವಿತ್ರ ಆತ್ಮನ ನಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಪಿತ ಸುತನನ್ನು ಈ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಕಳಿಸಿದರು ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡಲು ಜನರಿಗೆ ದೇವರ ವಾಕ್ಯವನ್ನು 
ಅವರ ಅನುಭವವನ್ನು ನೀಡಲು ಹಾಗೂ ಪಾಪಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ತರಲು ಪರರ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡಲು ಎಂಬುದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಪಿತ ಸುತನನ್ನು ಕಳಿಸಿದರು ಸುತ ತಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯವನ್ನು ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ದೇವರ ಇಚ್ಛೆಯಂತೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಹಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗುವಾಗ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಅಂತೇಳಿದರೆ ಪಿತನ ಸುತನ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಆತ್ಮನ ನಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳುವಂತೆ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಆತ್ಮನನ್ನು ನಾನು ಕಳಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತಹ ಪವಿತ್ರಾತ್ಮ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆತ್ತನೆ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆತ್ತನೆ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಗಳು ಯಾವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಗೊಳಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೋ ಯಾವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನು ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಗೊಳಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೋ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಏಳಿಗೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೋ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪವಿತ್ರಾತ್ಮನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಕಾಣುತ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮನ್ಸಿಂಜರ್ ರೇಮನ್ ಮಸ್ಕರೇನಸ್ ಇವರತ್ರ ನಾವು ಕಲಿಯಬೇಕಾದ ಕೆಲವು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇವೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಅಳವಡಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನೋಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ನಾವು ಬಿದ್ದು ಬೀಳ್ತೇವೆ ಬಿದ್ದು ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಹಳ ಕಷ್ಟವಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಇಂತಹ ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇವತ್ತು ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕಾದ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ರದಿಂದ ಸೇವೆ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ನಿರ್ಮಲತೆ ಶುದ್ಧತೆ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಸರಳತೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಮನಸ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ಹೇಗೆ ಗಳಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಬಹುದು ಇತರರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಹೇಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಯಾಕೆ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸಬೇಕಂತೇಳಿ ಯಾರಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಿಯಾದರೂ ನಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಖಂಡಿತ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ನೆನಪಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ನಾನು ನೋಡಿದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ಒಮ್ಮೆಲೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಮಧ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳುವಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವ ಕೆಲವು ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟ ಕೆಲಸಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಗಾಗಿ ನೇಯ್ಗೆ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದರು ಈ ನೇಯ್ಗೆಯಿಂದ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಆದಾಯ ಬಂತು ಆ ಆದಾಯದಿಂದ ಹೇಗೆ ಬರೇ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಿಂದ ಸೌಜನ್ಯತೆಯಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಹೃದಯದಿಂದ ಹೇಗೆ ನಾವು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯನ್ನು ಇತರರಿಗೆ ಹಂಚಬಹುದು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಹಂಚುವುದರಿಂದ ಎಷ್ಟು ಏಳಿಗೆಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯಬಹುದು ಈ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ರ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗುವ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ನವರು ಏನನ್ನು ತೆರೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಇದನ್ನು ಈ ಒಂದು ಯೋಜನೆಯನ್ನು ಹಾಕಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಈ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ಅವುಗಳ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಿಗಬಹುದು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಆದರೆ ನಿಜವಾಗಿ ಈ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ರವನ್ನು ನೋಡುವಾಗ ಮಾನ್ಸಿಂಜರ್ ಅವರು ಏನು ಮಾಡಿದರು ಪ್ರಪ್ರಥಮವಾಗಿ ಅವರು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆಯಿಂದ ತಮ್ಮ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಪೀಳಿಗೆಗೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಜನಾಂಗಕ್ಕೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಹಿರಿಯರಿಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಪ್ರಾಯವಂತರಿಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಗುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂದೇಶ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆಯಿಂದ ಯಾವುದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸಫಲತೆಯ ಕಡೆ ಕೊಂಡೊಯ್ಯಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸಫಲತೆಯನ್ನು ಬೆತ್ತನೆ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ನವರು ಇವತ್ತು ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ರ ಮೂಲಕ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾನ್ಸಿಂಜರ್ ಮಾಸ್ಕರೇನಸ್ ಅವರು ರೇಮನ್ ಮಾಸ್ಕರೇನಸ್ ಅವರು ಯಾವುದೇ ಲೂಟಿ ಗೀತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಪಡೆದುಕೊಂಡ ಹಣವಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿತ್ತು ನಾವು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಹಂತ ಹಂತವಾಗಿ ನೋಡುವಾಗ ಬಡವರ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಬಡವರಿಗ ಬಡವರ ಏಳಿಗೆಗೆ ಮಾಡುವ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಬಡವರ ಕಷ್ಟಗಳನ್ನು ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಒಂದು ಉಪಯೋಗ ಉಪಯೋಗಕಾರಿಯಾಗುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ಒಂದು ಯೋಜನೆಯನ್ನು ತರಬೇಕು ಎಂಬುದು ಒಂದು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಅವರದು ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಫಾದರ್ ವಿನ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆವಾಗ ಹೇಳಿದರು ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ಯಾರಿಶ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಬೆಂದೂರು ಪ್ಯಾರಿಶ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಈ ಒಂದು ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇದೊಂದು ಚರಿತ್ರೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಹಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ನೋಡುವುದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ನೋಡುವುದು ಈ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ರದಿಂದ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿ ಆಯ್ತಂತ ಕಾಣ್ತದೆ ಆದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ನಾವು ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗುವುದು ನಾವು ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮದೇ ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮದೇ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮದೇ ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡುತ್ತೇವೆ ನಮಗೆ ನೀವು ಬೇಡ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮವೂ ಬೇಡ ಎಂಬಂತೆ ನಮ
ಇದರಿಂದಾಗಿ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದಿವೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳ ಅಗತ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲವೇ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ದುಡಿಯುವ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ಗಳ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲವೇ ಇಂಥ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ದುಡಿಯುವ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ಗಳ ಯಾಜಕರ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲವೇ ಎಂಬುದೊಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಯಾಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಈ ಅವರ ಕೆಲಸಗಳಿಂದ ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕಾದದ್ದು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಪ್ರಪ್ರಥಮವಾಗಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಕುಟುಂಬದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಎರಡನೇದಾಗಿ ಮಾನ್ಸಿಂಜರ್ ರೇಮನ್ ಮಸ್ಕರೈನಸ್ ಇವರ ಜೀವನ ಚರಿತ್ರೆಯಿಂದ ನಾವು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಿಷಯಗಳಿಂದ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಇರುವ ಊಟ ನಾನು ಒಬ್ಬಳೇ ತಿನ್ನದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅರ್ಧವನ್ನು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರಿಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಹೇಗೆ ಕೊಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಹೌದು ನಮ್ಮದೀಗ ಒಂದು ಪೋಷ್ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಇವತ್ತು ತುಂಬ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತರಾಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಈಗ ಬಡವರು ಯಾರೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಂಬ ಕೆಲವು ಆಲೋಚನೆಗಳು ಕೆಲವರಲ್ಲಿ ಇವೆ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ನಿಜವಾಗಿ ನೋಡಿದರೆ ಮನೆ ಮನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ನೋಡಿದರೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನರು ಮಾನಸಿಕ ಕಷ್ಟಗಳಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನರು ದೈಹಿಕ ಕಷ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನರು ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಕಷ್ಟಗಳಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಂಥವರಿಗೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಮಾನ್ಸಿಂಜರ್ ರೇಮನ್ ಮಸ್ಕರೇನಸ್ರವರು ಕೊಡುವಂಥ ಸಂದೇಶ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಯುವಕರಿಗೆ ಏನಂತೇಳಿದರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆಯೋ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಹಾಡು ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವುದು ಏನು ನಮ್ಮದಲ್ಲ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಬಂದದ್ದು ದೇವರಿಂದ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಇದನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮದಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿಕೊಂಡು ಯೋಚಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಕೊಡುವುದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಇವತ್ತು ಧರ್ಮಸಿಂಜ ರೇಮಣ್ ರವರು ಬೆತ್ತನೆ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ನವರಲ್ಲಿ respected dignitaries and dear friends warm greetings of the day we just watched the documentary on wings of love a real love story the love story of a visionary who was ordained a priest on this day 121 years back his wings of love spread far and wide milagris mangalo Rosario Kalyanpur, Milagris Kalyanpur, Udhyavar, Agra, finally to Bendur and Mangalore Diocese at large. These wings of love sheltered, cared and served the poorest of the poor, the downtrodden, weak and weary, marginalized and oppressed rural women and rural people. Faith formation and catechism has been their priorities. Educating the poor students in the economically backward areas of Karnataka is praiseworthy. Founders' leadership in the diocese and its obedience to the authorities of the church is a real inspiration for our life of faith and leadership. it has paved the way for birthing new vision and occasions to priesthood and religious life is deep trust in the providence of god love for the eucharist and the word of god and devotion to mother mary are highlighted in the documentary right the documentary opens to us the multifaceted mission of bethany Besides the educational apostolate, Bethany has opened its portals through pastoral care, social action, healing ministry, hostels for girls, Bethany champions, Little Way associates, youth ministries, care for the elderly, differently abled and empowerment of women. the multi dimensional activities are delightfully presented in the documentary and that's the beauty of this documentary heartiest congratulations to dear sister roselin the superior general and the central general councillors as of to you dear sister jyoti for coordinating perfectly and presenting the life of bethany sisters and the founder through the documentary many faces many hands great achievements handed to us and the church and society 
through the life and contribution of the servant of God, RFC Maskarnas and the Bethany sisters. I appreciate very much the documentary on Wings of Love as a centenary gift offered to us. Warmest wishes to all those who directly or indirectly became the part of the process. My high appreciations to the director for the Edwin Vass SVD and his dedicated team for this well-documented, fascinating life story of Bethany and its founder. I wish this documentary be shown to all the students of Bethany schools during the centenary celebration, even to parents during PTA meetings and also to the general public through social media. People will get a glimpse of a great visionary and also of the service of Bethany congregation to humanity. It may inspire many young girls to join Bethany and be a part of the mission. Life of the founder will be an inspiration to young men, to priestly occasion and many others to spread their wings of love towards the needy and the marginalized. I thank the Superior General and the Centenary Celebration team for giving me this splendid opportunity to share my impressions. I am proud to be a part of Bethany and Bethany Educational Society. The person of the founder is very dear to me. B has been my life. Let us all join in the mission of Bethany. Pray God Almighty to bless the congregation with number and merit and also pray that the servant of God, RFC Mascarinus, may soon be granted the honors of the altar. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Richard, for sharing your love and great respect to our Father Founder. I hope the stirring documentary film on Wings of Love on Servant of God Raymond Francis Camillus Mascarenus will breed in us the lofty ideals leading to creative actions. Kindly note that this documentary film will be re-telecast today, March 4th at 6 p.m. in Divine Word Channel. I repeat that this documentary film will be re-telecasted today, March 4th at 6 p.m. in Divine Word Channel. I request the actors and the media committee to stay back for a photograph. And well, this is Mrs. Veena Lasrado signing off. Thank you. Have a nice day.